got quite a bit of snow overnight and this morning, two to three inches in fact. So we sent our news channel 7's Abby Davis out to check on the road conditions throughout the day today and right now. So Abby, what have you been able to find out? Well, Doug, you really nailed it earlier. Honestly, it's just a whole lot of slush. The roads are fairly clear. Traffic is moving right along. There isn't any big snow pileups on the side of the road. Just really, really wet. Now, despite the earlier snowy conditions and wet conditions, there actually haven't been a ton of crashes today. Um, looking back on previous snow days that we have had. Now, the Ada County Sheriff's Office as of late this afternoon reported 12 car crashes and six slide offs. Canyon County, on the other hand, they reported six slide offs and four crashes. Nampa Police District or er, Police Department, they reported two crashes but neither of those were actually weather related. So once again, those are some pretty limited numbers. I am told pretty mild in, compared to, in comparison to other more snowy days. Um, now the Nampa, or I spoke with an Ada County Highway District spokesperson earlier today. She says crews are still out plowing the roads and they have been since 2 a.m. They got a really early start. They'll continue working into this evening. But right now I'm told ACHG isn't really able to pre-treat the roads because it is so wet. But Bree just mentioned the freezing temperatures. As the temperatures continue to drop, they are hoping to get out there and treat the roads because if temperatures are too warm, then it actually dilutes the solution and they don't keep and it doesn't keep the roads from freezing. So once again, that is something that they're looking to get out and do tonight to make sure that everyone has a safe morning commute tomorrow. And as far as school goes, we know a lot of people enjoyed a nice day at home today. It's really too early to tell. I talked to the Boise School District about what they're thinking about tomorrow. Once again, no specific information, but they will have people out starting at 4 a.m. tomorrow, driving the bus routes, driving through the neighborhoods to make sure that people get can get to school safely. But right now, Doug, really the main concern is ice and just everything freezing overnight. But they say really no news is good news. So if you don't hear anything, it means you're going to school tomorrow or your kids are <laughs> and watch Definitely wake up Idaho to find out about any school closures that happen in our area. Abby, thank you so much.